Okay guys, part two of the video here. Uh, it's Malwarebytes uh, Pro. And there's still quite a few memory threats resident here still. You can see them all down here. And then you can see seven pop-ups right here. Uh, CPU usage is, feels kind of high. I can't actually see it because uh, I have some malware blocking the task manager. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, Explorer. See if I can and have a look around and see if Malwarebytes uh, catches any files once I start browsing over them. The machine is pretty well locked up. I can't really do much of anything. These uh, pop up windows I can't close, so. I have no choice but to do a uh, full scan. So I'm going to start a full scan with Malwarebytes. And I know from experience that um, Malwarebytes likes to set a lot of things to be deleted upon reboot, like most anti-malware programs. And I can understand that uh, because a lot of the stuff is locked. So what Malwarebytes will do is it will identify a threat, create a list of things to delete on boot up. So I'll start a scan. And we're doing a full scan. Time is 6.13 p.m. right now. And I'll pause the video until the scan's complete and we'll come back and show you what it found. Be right back. Okay, Malwarebytes found 588 infections. Scan time was 22 minutes, 32 seconds. It says the scan completed successfully, and uh, it says click OK to show all uh, objects found. Or click show results, sorry. So there you go, found a whole lot of stuff. Uh, Vundu, Zlob. Uh, rootkit DNS changer, dialers, uh, more rogues, lots of adware, just a whole lot of stuff. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just click uh, <coughs> remove selected. And, and really, um, I wish I, I'm pretty sure it quarantines the stuff first. You know, I never never really pay attention. Okay, yeah, it quarantines stuff first, and then it removes it. And quarantining stuff is really important only because uh, you can you can have a false positive, and you can remove that false positive, and then you're left with an unbootable system. So it's always good to quarantine everything first, and then remove it once you're sure that, you know, everything's good to go. So you can see how fast it's removing everything. I'm quarantining it, and now it's removing it. Anything that's locked and running in RAM it can't get rid of, it'll go ahead and just mark for deletion at, next, at the next boot up. And it presents me with a log. I don't need right now and it says certain items cannot be removed and these are basically registry entries um, you know I really care about files not as much about registry entries so looks like it removed all the files it found we're gonna go ahead it wants us to reboot so I'll go ahead and reboot and I'll pause the video I'll be right back all right we're back after that reboot and uh, this is what it looks like as soon as I boot it up and um, got Malwarebytes loaded down here. Something is trying to connect to the internet. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my network card. I'm going to say uh, Flash wants to update. I'll do that later. Now at this point I should be able to go ahead and get my task manager up. So yeah, that works again. You can see all those rogues are gone. So no rogues down here. 
Uh, if we take a look at Internet Explorer, go ahead and reset my home page. Hit apply. Okay. PC is pretty much running at normal speed. If I do some common search queries like I always do, things that get hijacked by a lot of these um, adware hijackers. You can't really search in Internet Explorer and it's being redirected to worldwide-download and it crashes. Well, some, something crashed, but it wasn't this uh, version of Internet Explorer. So I still have something running in the background. So unfortunately, there's still some Vundu left on here. Uh, let's try the same thing again. This time I get it in the AVG site. Let's look for combo fix. get right into the site. Let's go ahead and do some searches in Firefox. Yeah, Firefox from what I've seen in all my other reviews pretty much remains pretty much immune to um, all the adware except for a rootkit adware which affects everything yeah browsing on Firefox is per pretty much perfect uh, I'm sure if in Internet Explorer I disabled some of these uh, add-ons they have in here. That was weird. That first query went to an AdWare-based site or a redirection, but this all of the subsequent ones are gone. And they actually go to the real site. Okay, here we go. Here's a redirection. WorldwideDownload.com It's just an affiliate site. We go into um, Internet Explorer and go to Manage Add-ons. We can see what's currently loaded, and it's still loading. Hold on. So really, there's not much loaded in here. Got some stuff here like Active Desktop Mover. That's obviously a piece of malware. Might be the only one, but it's definitely there still. And it's shell32.dll. Well, that was a full scan with uh, malware bytes, and now we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna go ahead and do a um, a quick scan because we want to make sure malware bytes got rid of everything upon that reboot. Um, this is what you. This is what I have to do with malwarebytes when I'm working with a customer. I'll do a full scan and then a quick scan. So I'm just doing what I normally do. I'll go ahead and pause the video and come back and show you the result.